Aster Amelus, agroplants.org, also known as European Michalmas Dicey. So this herbascus is perennial evergreen or an, as an annual plant. Uh, its growth forms are ornamental for the flowers. It's also drought tolerant and can be used as a cut flowers and it attracts tons of pollinators. It can grow in a variety of climates, can be temperate, subtropical or Mediterranean. Uh, growing in hardiness zone of 3 to 10A and with the right care can be also in uh, 10B. The flowers can be uh, colors of the flowers can be purple, pink or white. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side. If you purchase it, it's donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's really helped to this channel to grow. So, some information about how to grow this plant. Uh, so, moist, prefer moist soil, well-drained soil. Uh, better to put fertilizer at least twice a year. Uh, once in the, in the spring and uh, if you would like to grow it uh, possible to start by plant seeds or cutting uh, in order to start the cutting for a uh, high chance of success better to use peat soil uh, also to put it uh, with uh, moist soil uh, you can uh, use uh, need high humidity and better to start the cutting in the spring a better temperature of 25 uh, Celsius, it's been 77 Fahrenheit. Uh, you don't have to start from, uh, from cutting, uh, it just will ensure the color, but except this, it's very, very invasive plant, so it's been that it's really easy to sow it. Uh, to start from seeds, it's not an issue, it's actually very, very easy, so consider to start from seeds, it will be lovely. Uh, so planting season will be from spring to the summer in hardiness zone from 3 to 10A. Spring to the autumn in hardiness zone of 10B. Major pests are aphids and mealybugs. And if you want to prune it after the blooming season will be the best. It will be in the autumn and winter. Uh, it's usually for just for design. Uh, also, if you will cut the flowers when they are mature, it will increase the chance to get another wave of flowers. The height of the plant will be from 60 centimeters to 1.2 meters, so it's been 24 to 48 inches. Uh, in the right condition, it's a fast growing plant uh, that uh, requires small to average amount of water. It can draw, it can be drought tolerant, uh, but prefer regular amount of water. Also, uh, will grow the best in full sun. A half shade better in the hardiness zone of 10B, uh, but might bl uh, bloom less, of course. But uh, in hardiness, not hardiness zone of 10B, the main problem it's a really hot summers, uh, or general in hot summers will require half shade. Uh, you can start to grow it in a container. Start with a bigger, much bigger container because it's grow very fast, especially if you grow it as an annual, uh, choose at least 200% uh, bigger than the root ball. Uh, add some, uh, let's say, potting mix or something like this, uh, add some hummus, uh, organic matter and chop, chopped mulch. Uh, the mulch keeps the soil moist and it's better for the plant to grow in the moist soil. Uh, except this, uh, it will bloom from the summer to the autumn. Uh, the flowers, as I say, mentioned before, uh, it's a dicey shape, pink, purple or white flowers. Uh, the inner side can be yellow, orange or pink. And except this, it's, uh, it's not hard to grow this plant. There isn't special requirement. Uh, what is nice in this plant, it's a massive, massive amount of... Uh, dicey shape flowers uh, so this is lovely if you like uh, dicey shape flowers this is something to consider uh, except this uh, maintenance it's uh, just a fertilizer and take care of the watering so that usually you use automatic uh, uh, watering system drip system 
and except this it's easy to grow so why not to grow it i don't know why not that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again